So this is a typical room. Okay. All of our rooms are private rooms. Yeah. Um, we have a couch for our families and visitors to stay overnight. We have 24-7 visiting hours, um, which works out extremely well. Um, as a nurse, by background, I can tell yeah. you that the input of the families in patients' care is critical. Absolutely. So we, we encourage them to stay. And, and all these rooms are, are fairly similar. they got mm -hmm. big, bathrooms, big bathrooms, nice TVs, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and all the yep. comforts, Flat screen pretty TVs. much all the comforts of home. Exactly. Let's and again, every, every head wall is highest level of care, so right. it could be ICU. Um, or it could be general med surge bed. Okay. Now, those folks that don't want to sleep on the couch in the room, mm -hmm. let's talk about what else is on this campus, starting with the hotel. We had the Staybridge uh, Hotel on yep. campus, 108 rooms. Okay. Um, and that hotel is just um, is doing great. Yeah. Our patients that come from out of town, families stay there. We have a very large program with the, our Michigan Ear Institute, neurotology patients who come okay. from all over the Midwest to come and see these physicians, and they oftentimes use that hotel. Sure. Um, Dr. Mendelo does unbelievable spine surgery on pediatric patients. They could be here for weeks at a time, and their families yeah. stay at the Staybridge Hotel as very well. Convenient. So it's very convenient. Especially since really across Grand River, you've got a shopping center there. Yep. We're right off of 96. Exactly. And this is kind of very, very convenient. Exactly, certainly. exactly. What else? Talk about what else is on the campus here. Well, we have our medical office building right yep. next to the hospital. We have a tunnel that actually is connects the hospital oh. to the medical office building. And many okay. of our physicians have offices in that office building. It's very convenient for them. We also have the Orthopedic uh, Bone and Joint Center, which mm -hmm. has surgery as well as offices in there. Mm. We have our Syrian Cancer Center, yep. where we have our medical and our radiation oncology. We have underground tunnels that connect uh, the Assyrian Center to the hospital sure. in case our inpatients need uh, support from there. And then our, our outpatient building, which has been here for a long time, before yeah. the hospital was, that we have imaging, outpatient surgery in there, our sleep center, many of those programs are in there. So a year ago I could have said, what's the future for Providence, and you would have said all of this, but what, what's next? Well, I think we've got our foundation, now we work our way up. And I think as we look at developing our pediatric programs, mm -hmm. our neurosciences program, um, we had a, a generous donation from Art Van Elslander to support our neurosciences right. program. So we have uh, a neuromonitoring unit that's going to be set up. We have a balance and falls clinic mm -hmm. that's going to be set up. So a lot of neurosciences work with some of the most fantastic physicians you'd ever want to see. Is that a specialized area that maybe mm -hmm. some of the other hospitals are are not mm -hmm. participating in? Yes, very, very specialized neurosciences program. Are you seeing a lot of that type of illness? I mean, we I guess do. What are we have a stroke network as well. Okay. So as you know, when someone has a stroke, the timeliness of getting them right. into care is critical right. to save those brain cells. So we have um, some robotic monitoring that we're just now beginning to implement. So hospitals throughout our area, and even outside of our area, oh. can get um, consultation for those patients okay. and can bring them in to get quick intervention for those patients. Oh, so fantastic. stroke obviously is a huge issue you know, for many yes. of the populations. So being able to care for them quickly is, is critical. Oh, very good. Well, we're going to end this show okay. back outside and we're going to meet a special guest. Yes, you are. So why don't, we, uh, why don't we go and meet that guest? Sounds good. Thanks. Yep. Jean, thanks a lot for uh, giving the tour today. We certainly could spend hours and hours here at Providence and, yep. oh, and looking at all the different rooms and, and the wonderful renovation that the hospital has done. Well, it's our pleasure. You know, I mentioned before how important the family is to, yes. to the patient care experience, and we really try and focus on body, mind, and spirit here yep. at the hospital. And matter of fact, here's one of our new associates now coming to talk about that the mental aspect of care. This is Parker. Hey, Parker. Parker. Parker's our facility dog. He comes in, he's here every day. He yep. lives with um, some of our staff members. The hospital owns Parker. And uh, he visits patients. He visits our pediatric patients, our surgery patients, our it's ER patients. He's a camera patients. shy, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good boy. We have many volunteers that have been specially trained uh, yeah. to handle Parker. Um, and uh, he just, the, the mood of the unit and the area just changes when Parker, uh, oh, when Parker comes sure. on. So, another, just an example of the different things we're trying to do here at Providence Park to really care for the whole person and realize it's not just a clinical disease, it's yeah. a patient with a family and emotional and spiritual needs as well. You know, this is a good segue into really just wrapping up the show and talking about Providence's good corporate citizenship. I mean, you're not just a hospital within the city of Nova. I mean, you're, you're partners, yeah. not only with the city, but, but certainly with a lot of different organizations. Yeah. Yeah. The city has embraced us, and we've embraced the city. We are so happy to be here. Well, glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for Jean, coming for today. We appreciate time. it. Yep. 
That's all we've got for today for Corporate Review. For more information on economic development, we invite you to go to our website, investnovi.org. Until next time, take care.